Welcome back to Empowerment Nursing. I'm Ashley and I'm a nurse educator and you are tuning into our weekly application of In the Know where we make it simple. Today we're applying the live video that we recently published talking about inverse relationships and trying to simplify those for you. If you missed that video, go catch it on the replay because it's really going to help you answer this question. Um, comment your response below in the comment section and then press play for the correct answer and rationale. That's how you get the best use out of this. Um, so our question is, a patient with Addison's disease has a lack of steroid hormone. That's a whole problem with Addison's disease. So the nurse knows that this would also cause a lack of adequate sodium retention. Given this knowledge, which of the following dietary restrictions would the nurse teach the patient a high sodium and low potassium b low sodium and high potassium c high sodium and high potassium or d low sodium and low potassium so this all comes down to knowing the inverse relationship between sodium and potassium so if the patient if this is sodium and this is potassium if the patient has addison's disease they have low steroids or low sodium so if you know the patient with addison's has low sodium they therefore have high potassium but this is asking about dietary restrictions so if they have low sodium and high potassium you would want them to have a high sodium and a low potassium diet. So our correct answer is A, high sodium and low potassium. And you can see how we didn't have to memorize that. We came to the right answer by just knowing the inverse relationship between sodium and potassium. And this is just one example of how critically knowing the content can translate into getting the correct answer. So for the answer to this question and more, and for all inverse relationships simplified, you can check out our complete study packages on our website. Thank you so much for joining me this week on In the Know, and I will see you next time.